In this video, I show you how to do your makeup on your first date. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here though, my name is Hannah and I upload beauty videos every Monday and Friday. Feel free to stick around and subscribe. Make sure to hit the bell notifications. That way you get notified whenever I post. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out. I'm starting by priming my eyes with a Smashbox shadow primer, which I realized that I should have done this before because I need, then needed to give it a little bit of time to dry down somewhat. But yes, this is how I'm priming my eyes for eyeshadow. Using this Emily Edit palette, I'm doing a pretty natural look. Obviously, you can do whatever kind of eye look or makeup look you want on your first date, but um, I wanted to do it a little bit more simple or natural looking. This is a Luxie 243 brush with that brown shade that I was showing you earlier. I'm applying this on my transition shade. I sp actually spent a long time, well, I don't know, a long, not a long, long time, but I did spend a while applying this shade to both of my eyelids and also blending it out just to make it look more subtle and just to kind of look better in general. But obviously I cut out, you know, that part, so it wasn't, this video wasn't forever long. But blending is key and also don't feel, I mean, don't get intimidating if you want to build up the color more like I'm doing um, with that eye. As I said, I blend a lot in this video, so this is a Luxie blending brush. I like how light and fluffy this is. It does a good job of blending. Just blend in away. Blend, blend, blend. Blend some more. You get the idea. This is the shade, I think it's called Apartment, a deeper brown color that I kind of applied on my outer V with this Sigma brush. To kind of give a little bit more dimension, I was debating between just doing kind of using two eyeshadows or using the other one as well, and I decided to obviously give it more dimension and, you know, create a, an outer V with this. And then, of course, blend it to make it look more subtle and effortless. Do the same on the other eye. This is a shimmery or a kind of glittery shade that I'm using for my lid color. If you don't normally wear glittery shades like this, also feel free to use a matte shade to make it a little bit more subtle, but I just like wearing glittery shades, so that's why I chose to do that. I'm using my finger to apply this. It's just, I don't know, it's an easy way to apply this eyeshadow. Now I'm using a slightly lighter glittery shade just to kind of give it some more dimension. Of course, you don't need to do this step, but I just think it's really pretty, so I like to give it a little bit more dimension once again, using my finger to apply this, co this color as well. And then I am now, of course, blending some more. I like the Sigma brush because it's a little bit more precise than the Luxie one. They're obviously both good, um, but this is a little bit more of a precise blend, so it won't disperse the color as much. Then I needed to wipe away the fallout, so um, I went ahead and did that. There's definitely fallout with these glittery shades, just to let you know. Went to Sephora the other day and I got a sample of the Urban Decay All Nighter Primer. So that's the primer that I'm going to use today. It's, it's a different, I don't know, it's like a unique consistency. It's not overly silicone-y. It's um, kind of a thicker consistency than the Smashbox um, Photo Finish Primer, just like the original one. Just blending in that moisturizer, and then I also, or primer rather, and then I also applied under eye moisturizer as well. That's what I'm doing here. I'm gonna do my base makeup and then I'll be right back. I'm baking my under eyes with this Makeup Revolution um, I believe it's called baking powder. So I do this to set my under eyes. I got this video idea from a friend. If you have any video ideas, please let me know in the comments section down below. Now I'm setting my face with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Powder. I love this Sigma brush. I know I've used it a lot, but it's really nice and fluffy and it's great for applying powder all over your face. Now I'm contouring with this Physician's Formula Bronzer. Remember to kind of go use your, I use the top of my ear as a guide 
whenever I'm contouring like this so that it doesn't go too low. Make sure to blend upward. And then I also contour my forehead. You don't have to, but I like to do that. And then, of course, I'm going to contour the other side of my face as well. Now I am using blush. I believe this is Morphe blush in the shade Spirit. And I love this Farrah brush because I think it's technically a powder brush, but I like using it for blush because it just does, you know, a nice light application. Very subtle. Of course, I needed to use highlight. I haven't used this one in a while. It actually unfortunately shattered, but I still kind of made it work. It is a really pretty highlight. It's from Becca. I like to highlight the tip of my nose. And I used this fluffy brush to kind of blend everything together. This is the Tarte Stay Spray to set my face, make sure that makeup lasts in place. Now I'm going to go in with mascara. Of course, at first I <laughs> curl my lashes, but actually, wait, 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 almost forgot to remove that baking powder. I technically should have done that before I set my face, but like I said, I forgot. Now I'm curling my lashes, and the mascara that I'm going to be using is the Smashbox, I think it's Smashbox Super Fan. believe that's the name of it. I've been using this for a while. It's a pretty good mascara. I did cut out um, some of the coats of mascara that I did though because I applied several coats of mascara. I like my, my mascara to make my lashes look nice and voluminous. I know I've also said that several times, but that is why, you know, I like to apply a lot of coats of mascara. This is an Urban Decay lip pencil. I'm now lining my lips. I line them and then I fill them in. You know the routine. This is a nice um, Urban Decay lipstick in the shade Back Talk. It's kind of a mauve color, but I see it almost as a neutral. I know technically it's a mauve, but I just think it's really pretty. Um, a nice kind of subtle look. If you liked this video, I think you'll also like this video right here. It is Motivational Makeup Mondays for if you are single during Valentine's Day. Just click right here to make sure you check that out. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Once again, thanks again for watching and I will see you in my next video.